Hello, welcome to The Mysterious, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm, of course, Lona Hosel, Zeke Lamont, and this is my review for the new Robert Eggers directed and co written film, The Northman, starring Alexander Sarsgaard and Anna Taylor Joy, Nicole Kidman, Ethan Hawke, William Dafoe. The cast just goes on and on and on. It's just a phenomenal cast. Um, Robert Eggers is slowly becoming like that director where everyone wants to work with, like a Nolan or a Tarantino. You know, like, like oh, they're making a movie? Uh, agent, give that man a call. Say that we're interested. <laughs> um, also, I'm a huge fan of Robert Eggers. He is now becoming a director that I very, very much admire. I love The Witch and I like The White House. Um, and I just love how, you know, he just makes everything feel so real and very lived in. Like, it's really like watching theater on the big screen. And th that's no, there's uh, nothing different about it with The Northman as well. The dialogue is just like it within those times. This is the dialogue where we can actually like really understand them for the most part. Um, the For uh, those who don't know, he uses like the actual dialogue that they talk like in those actual times. And also the lighting, also just beautifully well shot. Like, you know, when I came into this movie, I was expecting, okay, this is his crack at Hamlet, depending on you know, uh, when I watched the trailers. But if you don't know the story of Hamlet, first of all, Everything comes back to Hamlet at some point. At some point, every storyteller does Hamlet. <laughs> Which I've also just learned that Hamlet was an adaptation of something else I do not remember the title for. But everything comes back to Hamlet. I remember in high school that we always wanted to do Hamlet. But our director was just like, oh man, we can't do Hamlet justice. I really hope he finally got to do it. Anyway, that's a uh, conversation for another time. Um, this, I also put it you know, again back to the people who uh, don't know what Hamlet is. I was just like, oh, so this is um, The Lion King meets 300. <laughs> it's basically what I assumed this movie was going to be. You get a lot of Lion King in this, absolutely. Uh, you get a hint of 300, but that's not really the point of the movie. Uh, and, you know, those shows like, like with have Vikings in them and all that stuff. It's always very well lit, and you just tell, okay, yeah, these are actors playing Vikings and all this stuff. With this... It's very dark. They use natural lighting. It's sometimes really hard to see, which sometimes bugs me. If it's like in today's time, but when it's back in those times, I appreciate it uh, much, much more. And I, I, uh, I absolutely had fun with this film. Now, this is an epic for the most part. However, I do wish this movie was longer. The only uh, cr negative critique that I have is some of the relationship dynamics just make no sense. Um, they, well, don't make no sense. It's just like, okay, yeah, okay. So, yeah, we are expected for them to, uh, you know, be uh, known because, you know, they're known actors. <laughs> like, that's the thing. Like, all right, if they're known actors, they're going to have a relationship for the most part. And um, whether it's friendship, enemies, or relationship, if it's a known actor with a known actor, they're going to know each other. If it's someone we don't really recognize, you don't really need to worry about it. And that's basically the story device that he uses, which I wasn't a fan of. I wouldn't have minded this movie being a little bit longer to really establish those. Like, you know, in the trailer, the brother kills the uncle. I would like to see why that was happening. Like, have us judge for ourselves before we get the explanation later. Also, uh, and, you know, some people, you know, like, Anna Taylor-Joy and Alexander Sarsgaard, character dynamic. Once they were actually being, like, they were dynamic, I didn't mind it at all. But how it started, I was like, okay, well, all right. <laughs> it was just, you know, it, it was just those kinds of things that bugged me a little bit. But that is no, that is, uh, that is nothing to crack on on this movie. This movie is absolutely phenomenal. Um, this also does something different that it takes a turn that I was actually thinking, like, man, you know, it'd be cool if they did this. And then he did it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wow. Like, it caught me off so guard. Like, I didn't think he had him to do it. Um, but, yeah, man. Phenomenal acting. Phenomenal direction. Beautiful cinematography. Uh, not a lot of action. Not a lot of action. This is a very intimate revenge flick. Uh, and, you know, the lessons of revenge and the consequences of it, which I absolutely loved. Um, but... In the trailers, they really make it seem like it's this big action epic where it's like just fight war after war after war. It's not. It's not. Uh, there are, when it is war scenes, I mean, it is brutal. It is visceral. It is all of those things, and it's awesome. 
but it's really the dialogue, it's the conversations. Once they are doing, once they are being the characters, the uh, dynamics, it does work. It's just the starts that really uh, throw me off a little bit. If any movie was going to be a Strawberry Lemonade, which is the highest honor that a movie can get, uh, I thought it would be this one. Uh, so with that, let's get into the rating, right? <clears throat> If I didn't like it, it's a sour lemon. If I didn't like it, but hey, there's some good to it, it's an expired store-bought lemonade. If I liked it, but hey, there's a lot of problems to it, it is a store-bought lemonade. If we liked it, we had fun with it, but hey, really nothing to run home about. It's a lemonade. If we enjoyed it, very much so that there's only very, very minor nitpicks, it is a freshly squeezed lemonade. And if it's a 10 out of 10, it's a strawberry lemonade because that is the best kind of lemonade. The Northman is a freshly squeezed lemonade. I really wanted to give this one to be the strawberry lemonade. But like, this is my favorite movie of the year. This is now the title. This dethrones Batman as the movie to do it. It's not. Um, if I had to rank it, it's probably fourth in all honesty. Out of my uh, favorite movies of the year. With one, of course, being um, the Batman. Two, being everything, everywhere, all at once. Or two and three might be flip-flop. The unbearable weight of massive talent being third, and then the Northman is right behind this. Uh, very, very fun nonetheless. Uh, get, we got five badass original movies out in theaters right now, guys. The Lost City, Ambulance, Everything Everywhere All I Want, The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, and this movie. If you are someone who truly believes that Hollywood only cares about comic book movies and recognizable IP for reboots, this is your time to possibly change the narrative. Go to the movies and see these five awesome, badass original movies. It is just a great time to be at the movies right now. Uh, if you have seen The Northman, comment below and let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, hey, be considerate and hit that subscribe button as I am trying to grow into my YouTube career. And that will be it for me, guys. And I'll see you here next time at Lemon Studios.